Hi guys, in this video we're gonna talk about the systemic circulation. We have already talked about the pulmonary circulation in the last video, I will leave the link in the description below. And now we're gonna talk about the systemic one. So let's start. After the pulmonary circulation our blood was here in this chamber called left atrium. Then it flows to the left ventricle and it happens due to the opening of the valve called mitral or bicuspid valve so it opens and uh, blood from the left atrium flows to the left ventricle and then it closes and blood doesn't uh, return back. As we know, during the pulmonary circulation, specifically during the gas exchange in alveoli, our blood receives oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. So our blood is oxygen-rich blood, so it contains oxygen. Then after the left ventricle, our blood flows to the largest artery of our organism called aorta. And it's not only uh, the largest artery of our organism. Uh, here is also the highest blood pressure again in our organism. And arteries are blood vessels where blood flows away from the heart. And again, there is a valve called aortic valve. So our blood is in the aorta right now and then this aorta branches into smaller arteries and then this arteries branches in branch into capillaries and in this capillaries happen the gas exchange and uh, capillaries are blood vessels where happens the gas exchange. During this gas exchange our blood gives away oxygen to our cells and uh, it gets carbon dioxide from them. So it happens due, due to diffusion. And then in, in the, our blood becomes oxygen poor blood, so it doesn't contain oxygen. And then it uh, flows in veins and uh, these veins form two big veins called superior vena cava and inferior vena cava and in these veins our blood flows to the right atrium here and uh, the right atrium it's uh, the chamber where finishes the systemic circulation and after the right atrium our blood flows to the right ventricle and uh, through the tricuspid And now let's repeat what we have just learned. So after the pulmonary circulation, our blood was in the left atrium. It was oxygen rich blood. Then it flows uh, to the left ventricle through the mitral or bicuspid valve. Then through the aortic valve, it flows to the aorta. And aorta is uh, the largest artery of our organism. And uh, here is also the highest blood pressure. Then uh, this aorta branches into arteries and arteries are blood vessels where, which carry blood away from the heart. Then uh, these arteries branch into capillaries and capillaries are blood vessels where happens the gas exchange. So our blood gives away oxygen to our cells and it gets carbon dioxide. And this happens 
uh, due to diffusion and our blood becomes oxygen poor blood so it doesn't contain oxygen then uh, our capillaries form veins and uh, then these veins form two big veins superior vena cava and inferior vena cava in the inferior vena cava blood flows from the lower body for example from the legs and so on and uh, in the superior vena cava blood flow flows from the upper body from the head arms and so on and uh, blood flows to the right atrium and the uh, right atrium is the chamber where finishes the systemic circulation then uh, through the tricuspid valve our blood flows to the right ventricle and after the right ventricle our blood flows to the pulmonary artery and so on and now let's answer questions so that we remember this topic better what belongs to the systemic circulation pulmonary pulmonary artery it is here and it belongs to the pulmonary circulation so it's wrong superior vena cava it's right because it uh, is here and here flows uh, the oxygen poor blood from our cells to the right atrium aorta yeah it's right here flows oxygen rich blood from the left ventricle right ventricle it's wrong because here starts uh, the pulmonary circulation pulmonary veins it's wrong because here flows the oxygen rich blood from the lungs in the left atrium and the right atrium yeah it's right it's where the systemic circulation finishes now let's put in the right order so veins of the systemic circulation arteries of the systemic circulation aorta capillaries of the systemic circulation and left ventricle the systemic circulation begins here in the left ventricle then our blood flows to the aorta here it is then to the veins or to the arteries of the systemic circulation then in capillaries and there happens uh, the gas exchange then in the veins and uh, yeah that's all so left ventricle aorta arteries capillaries and veins and of course next goes uh, the right atrium and uh, yeah it is uh, the end of the systemic circulation thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video and understood the topic if you really did please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button you can also subscribe to my instagram account i have a lot of useful information there the link is in the description below so yeah have a nice day and bye